This is Twit. Okay, this isn't exactly a Lennox story either. Yet. Yet. It's not a Lennox story yet. But it is open source. So I'm hoping someday it turns into a Lennox story. One of my favorite games from my younger days. Uh, I wasn't a child anymore, but I was younger. Much younger than I am today. Was How much younger? <laughs> uh, late 90s. So... I'm not doing math. That's, this is not the Untitled Math Show. One of my favorite shows, not shows, games, my favorite games, was Command and Conquer. Mm-hmm. CNC, which it's often abbreviated as, was a real-time strategy game where you would you'd build up your base, uh, your your army, and, and you'd go after, go after the enemy through different stages. Um, it's kind of hard to really explain. In some ways, it's kind of like Civilization, um, but not turn-based. It's a real-time strategy game. It's Start a real-time. It's a real-time strategy game, or, or you know, Factorio without the automation. But it's 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 maybe not the first, but definitely one of the earliest earliest real-time strategy games. At least one of the good early ones. Anyway, I love these games, and this week. Electronic Arts has open sourced several of these games, including Command and Conquer Red Alert, uh, Tiberian Dawn, Renegade, and Generals. Uh, and I'm pretty sure I've played all of these. I, I did have like a, a pack of them at one time that had bought everyone in there. So uh, these have been licensed under the GPL, which I don't know if they have any extra restrictions about the GPL. So please, somebody make this a fork or or whatever you got to do to free Civ or whatever you got to do to so so that way I could play this on Linux. Um, it might be playable on Steam because uh, uh, they did add some stuff to Steam, I guess, last year. Uh, and I didn't know about that. But also, if you're going to make this you know, a native Linux game or whatever consider consider that this game dates back to 1996 um so that's 28 years ago 20 what year is it now 25 25 29 years ago (laughs) And, and so it does include some older dependencies such as DirectX 5 which microsoft did recently open source a lot of the direct acts i don't know what versions or i don't know maybe you could take that too and just slap this all together but i'm still hoping maybe someone can modernize these games mm-hmm. make them available on Linux. be pretty awesome additionally as i was saying cnc was remastered and brought to steam last year um so i read i have not checked that out yet uh and now ea Electronic Arts has enabled Steam Workshop support for more Command and Conquer titles. And I didn't know what that meant, so I had to look into it. And basically, it means that that, uh, users will be able to do things such as upload their own custom maps. And EA has also updated all their mission editors and world builder tools. So so you can publish maps directly to Steam Workshop. Uh, And to top this off, to support the Steam Workshop, uh, they're releasing a CNC modding support um, pack, which contains the source, XML, schema, script, shaders, map files for all the games that use the Sage engine. So um, there's a lot of things available for what I think if I if I, I haven't played it in quite a few years, but I I have played it from time to time over the decades <laughs> I've, I've come back to it. It, it they are great games i love them if you haven't played them well i don't know if you'll love them too but you should so i think it's time for me to uh flash back to my more youthful days <laughs> and indulge in some classic command and conquer yeah i have fun memories I, of the command and conquer games yeah i like that rob's our expert and is not really sure what year it is <laughs> that, that that tells you what kind of expert he is, right? There. I mean, <laughs> if you're talking about retro gaming, that's sort of a requirement. What yeah. year is it now? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm a little I'm a little sad that the game, the old Command and Conquer game that I played the most of, 
is Tiberian Sun, and it is not part of the release. Mm, no, uh, Tiberian Dawn is. I mean, it's close. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, yes. I, I almost feel like th- they keep making more. I mean, they seem to be making progress towards this. Uh, maybe they'll all be coming out eventually. I don't know. Hopefully. Maybe not. I, or. And- and it's hard to say it's like it's hard to say why like so did westwood hire some other developer to write part of this and the contract didn't specify that westwood would take mm, ownership right. of all the code but like there's all sorts of things that can happen inside of a proprietary code base that make it real difficult to release the source they all have have very similar gameplays you know being it's, open source somebody could make some maps that are similar to these other ones and and, and kind of make it for you <laughs> possibly now and that's where you get if AI I to make it If I remember correctly, with it being released in 96, wasn't it being using uh, the Microsoft DirectX 5 SDK? Yep. Yep, that's what I said. Yep. I didn't say the word SDK, but DirectX 5. I I will admit to something right here, being kind of the, one of the gamer people on the panel. You here, haven't played it. I've never played it. They're, they're fun games. They, they are. Now... I will I, say that real time strategy is probably not everyone's cup of tea, but um, they are fun. They're fun games. They are they, some they, of my favorite games of all time. They can be fun, but if it's a real time strategy MMO that runs twenty four seven, it can be devastating too. <laughs> they made some of those, but this is not that. You uh, could you could play multiplayer. I mean, it wasn't twenty four seven like that either. But. No. But there was multiplayer mode for it, yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm fun. just thinking of one that I got addicted to uh, about Where? ten years ago. World of Warcraft. Never no. quest. Magic Rush Heroes. Never heard of it. It's Never an Android, but I played it on Android devices. Yeah. Oh, I don't uh, play games yeah. on my phone. Yeah. <laughs> Lucky you, man. <laughs> <laughs> I've I've had to just shut it down. I, I have I have a card game on the phone. I have a different card game on the tablet, and that's it. That's my only gaming on the phone because otherwise it just does not work well. Oh, it All frustrates right. me. It's too small of a screen. I don't have keyboard and mouse, and I'm like, true, it, true, torques me off. All right, you could. There's Bluetooth. You could have a keyboard. Hey, it's Leo Laporte. I hope you've enjoyed this little clip from our programming at twit.tv. For more, visit our website, twit.tv, or subscribe in your favorite podcast client. There's also a link somewhere down there.